Hello and welcome to another informative Mastercam video from MacDAC Engineering. I'm Dave Matusik, I'm the trainer here at MacDAC, and in this video I'm going to go over some of the handy things you can do to configure Mastercam to fit your personal tastes a little better. I'm going to start off here by opening up my Mastercam X4, and once I get in there I'm going to go through some of the things I do when I set up Mastercam to teach a class. I use different colors and a different line thickness, and also I'll show you how to save your Mastercam files in a different location if you don't want to use a default location. So here's the Mastercam you're used to looking at. Basic blue background, basic design toolbar loaded. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to Settings, Configuration. Or I could have clicked Alt F8. And in here I'm going to come down and I'm going to go look for my Colors button, which I can see here in this column on the left of Topics call these topics. I'll go to colors. And it's harder for my students to see a blue background than it is a black background. So I'm going to click here in graphics background color and click on black. And then I'm going to hit OK in this case. And hit yes to that. And you see now I have a black background. Now I'm going to come back and go to settings configuration. And I'll go to graphics background color. And maybe, you know, in another training facility actually white works better. So I'll set that to white and I have a white background. So let's put that back on black. It's asking me if I want to save this and I do. Now, another thing I run into when I'm teaching is my line thickness, the default line thickness is great when you're sitting in front of the screen, but it's a bit thin if you're projecting this onto the screen or onto a projector screen. So one thing I do in class is I come in and I change my line thickness. So I'll come down here and go to my CAD settings. And here's a handy place for you guys to know some different things here. I make my line width here thick. That's how thick I'm going to make it. I can display my arc center points here or not. That's a little dot you see at the center of all your arcs if you have that turned on. I like it. A lot of people don't. I have different fillet creation options here. I kind of like to keep things here the way they are. I'm just going to change my line width and you'll be able to see I now have a much thicker line than I did before. A handy thing right there. Some other settings you may find handy in here. You can set your chain settings, your default chaining settings. We went over colors. You can set your back plot defaults. Some people, for example, don't like to simulate the rotary axis if they do a lot of five axis back plotting. Some people don't like to show four and five axis tool vectors. It's just a matter of turning them off. It's different colors for different things. How I want my analyze to be displayed. I'm going to go out four decimal points. I want to use inches. I could use feet and decimals. Feet, inches, fractionals, millimeters, centimeters, meters. How much uh, precision I need when I analyze. My colors we went over. Communication settings for your machines. Converter settings, actually, if you don't have the Mastercam Solids add-on, maybe you want to bring your solid models in as trim surfaces. Just a matter of setting this here, and all those converters that bring in solid data will convert that to trim surfaces. Or maybe, if you're like me, I don't like to use edge curves when I bring in solids. Just a personal preference, but I would probably turn that off in here. What default machine do I want to use when I go to... Um, do some milling and go mill default. What machine do I want to grab? The mill default machine? What if I have a post set up for a machine I have? Say a Haas. I could come in here and grab that machine and make that my default. Also you notice in areas where I've changed things a green check appears to keep track of where you've changed some different settings. I can set all my CAD settings here for drafting. where I want my files to be saved. Say, for example, I don't want to save in the MCX file. Say I want to save my MCX files out in the My Documents folder. I'll just come up here and grab my documents, hit OK, and that's where they'll be saved. Post dialog options I can change in here. Maybe I always want to overwrite. Maybe I don't. Printing options, how I want my prints to uh, print out on the printer. Screen settings here, one thing I like to tell people to do if they're having some strange graphical problems, I often tell them to come in, 
and disable the hardware acceleration here by unchecking that. It's telling me that these settings do not go into effect until you restart Mastercam. But I'll do another video on that to kind of talk about some of the strange things that can happen when you have, say, a unpreferred video card that Mastercam doesn't work well with. Shade setting defaults. Solid creation defaults. Start exit is handy because here I can tell it do I want to pick start up and design, mill, lathe, wire. What set of keys do I want to use? That's the, the uh, keys up here. Want to launch any add-in programs? If I want to use a different editor for my G-code, you can do that right in here. System tolerances, you don't usually ever have to touch that. But if, for example, you have a, say, a laboratory setting and you want to be much tighter in your tolerances, you could set that here. Or if you're in a more loose environment, you could open up those tolerances and gain a little more system performance. But for 99.99% of people, you will never really want to change your tolerances. You're not going to make your machine any more accurate by tightening those up. Different toolpath settings. How your toolpath manager works. A lot of handy things in here. Verify settings and wire settings. And I'm just going to hit OK to this. Well, very quickly, just show you how when I changed that file setting before, now saving in the My Documents folder. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I remember if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 860-749-5544. Thank you, and have a great day.